welcome back to my channel. We are obviously not in my living room. Um, I'm Heather and this is um, kind of my journey through the Cure Your Emetophobia and Thrive program by Rob Kelly. Uh, so this morning I am working on a challenge. I really truly dislike being late for work. It makes me very uncomfortable. I don't like how um, I believe it'll make people view me. Uh, so something my uh, consultant encouraged me to do was to try it, just be late for work. So I've done a few minutes here, a few minutes there, you know, um, like three to five minutes. And um, so today <laughs> I've left 15 minutes later than usual. And my plan is to not, um, you know, I'm not gonna speed, I'm not gonna be in a hurry. Um, I don't feel particularly anxious about it right now. I'm kind of a little tight in the chest, but um, so that's what we're doing in my car. Um, so this week, my, or well, I haven't updated in a couple of weeks, but so this update's not going to be particularly positive. Um, I have not picked up my book more than once in the last two to three weeks. I don't remember how long it's been since I've updated. Um, I, I, I don't feel bad about it. I, I'm still doing my work. I'm still doing my actions. Um, I know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Um, the only part that I feel bad about is that I'm supposed to have a, an appointment with my consultant in the morning and I have not done any, anything, um, other than my daily actions, which I've got my, um, my mantras and I set my intentions in the morning, uh, every morning, um, I mean, I'll say my mantras, I don't know, five, six, eight times, um, do my visualizations for the day, set my intentions again, um. And then throughout the day, I try to remember to do my positives. Uh, you know, I've got a set on my phone and I've got a set in my journal. Uh, I do my 10 positives at night from my journal or in my journal, um, as well as any um, reflections I have for the day. And then I also put a positive spin on any negative thoughts I've had, you know, just follow the instructions in the journal. And um, so I'm still doing that. It's just like, I haven't really picked the book back up and I I'm not sure why I don't have a good reason or a good excuse tax season is is now done and over with um, you know if I have time at the end of the day or I have time on the weekends where we're not outside working um, I just don't I guess I just find other things to, to do other relaxing things to do um, and I'm kind of turning it into a have to rather than a want to sure how to turn that around I guess um, but otherwise I'm, I'm doing quite quite well I um, have almost no physical symptoms left I'm still getting the occasional dizzy spell but um, for the most part it's uh, it's pretty well gone I'm I'm feeling more in control every day um, and I'm not as apt to catastrophize and and blow things out of proportion and um, you know the the balloon analogy our consultants talk to us about where you're just blowing air into this, this balloon and making it bigger and bigger and bigger and um, so I'm, I've been working really hard on not doing that um, and I, I think that's been going well uh, you know the the physical symptoms if I do have them I I just ignore them I mean I you know, I know they're there, but um, there's either a good reason for it or I'm going to be sick. Either way, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, it's just how I how I cope with what happens when it happens. And I certainly don't know, um, you know, once I am sick, how I'm going to react to it. But I do have the tools now. I do have those, those skills and those resources that are going to help me through it. Um, I don't find myself needing to, um, I, I don't need to do a lot of my old safety seeking behaviors. Um, one of those is actually kind of turned into a negative thing. I mean, I used to constantly sip water and I was always really well hydrated. Um, not so much anymore. I'm not constantly sipping on the water. I'm, I'm finding myself 
myself not as, as well hydrated, so I'm going to work on that. But I haven't taken my um, anti nausea pills in weeks and weeks. I'm not even sure how long it's been. Um, I do still take one medication, um, but I don't take my Valium or the Xanax or the Propanolol, Metoprolol, <laughs> any of that stuff. I don't take any of it anymore. Um, so that's been really positive. Um, I just, I, I think the, the big thing is once it clicks for you is to just keep doing those actions and, and keep working on it. I noticed that if I am not doing my actions like I should, uh, or I'm kind of letting the journaling slide or the positives slide, which I'm still not doing those as much as I probably should. And again, with the have to versus want to thing, gotta work that out, but um, it's, it's been a really good experience and a really good change. And um, I hope, again, that everyone can tell from how I, uh, how I was in my first video to how I appear now. Um, the color's back in my skin. I've gained probably um, about 10 of the pounds of the nearly 40 that I lost. Um, so I'm looking healthier, I'm feeling better, I've got more energy. Um, I just think that he's, Rob has designed the program in such a way that it's very simple to understand. Um, it's very simple to um, see how the things that he says, you know, are true. It's, you can see that yeah, it makes sense. If I constantly think negatively, my life is going to be affected by that. How I feel is going to be affected by that. Uh, you know, we see that even in places like Facebook, you know, that we, we all have that one friend that sits there and just posts and posts and posts about how awful their life is or how they've got a headache again today for the fifth day in a row or they just feel so crap and it's just, they're always like that. I don't want to be that person. <laughs> so, um, you know, once, like I said, once it does click, it's, it's going to click. Once it does click, uh, you don't, for me, I, I didn't feel like I um, didn't, I felt like I didn't understand it or I felt like I couldn't, couldn't get it. I wasn't going to get it. There was, I was missing something. It's not working for me. Something is not working. I just, it's not going to work for me. I, I can't figure it out. And that wasn't the case. I just, I didn't give myself enough time to think about it and to, to really, um, let those actions and those changes, uh, work. I, I didn't give it a chance. So once it finally did click, once I finally felt it, um, it's been amazing. So, um, I'm probably, I don't know, five minutes from work and I'm still not feeling particularly anxious or upset. It's only two minutes to eight though, so I'm not going to be terribly late, but um, I'm always, always early, always early. So uh, I'm going to give myself a few minutes on the drive to see how I feel, um, you know, let my, my thoughts go. And um, on the blog, I have not updated my brick exercise. So that's one of my goals for today is to print out more of those brick sheets. And instead of just picking one, um, I'm going to pick a couple. I'm still doing really well on the horse one. So um, I've pretty much put that one away um, for safekeeping. But so I'm going to pick a couple and I will hopefully have time tomorrow to upload this video as well as um, upload the photos on my blog of the exercises that I've chosen, the um, the limiting beliefs that I have to work on. Um, so anyway, I really hope that this is helping somebody. It's uh, been a really good experience for me to uh, have you guys all along on this ride, and I just feel kind of bad that I've not updated as often as I had in uh, had intended. But anyway, um, I hope that you're all doing well, and I. We'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.